And the bottom line is, I think lights in today's world are extremely overrated. Oof, man, Ken Hackathorn. I got a lot of respect for him, but ooh, I uh, got to disagree on this one. And I, I think he's wrong. Let's talk about it. Marksmen and Markswomen, welcome to Marksmanship Past and Present. And today we are talking about that really viral clip of Ken Hackathorn talking about weapon lights being overrated. Um, he does also mention something about red dots. I'm not going to touch on the red dots because I haven't made the complete transition over to a red dot. Not to say that I share that same agreement that they have no place on handguns. I um I just haven't put the time in to learn how to use them, but they do have benefits, and I do recognize those benefits, but that's not what we're going to be talking about today. So what we're going to be addressing on is his comments about the light. So you saw that first one in the intro where he's basically saying that they're overrated, and I disagree with him, and I believe he's wrong, and we're going to go over a couple reasons why. So first off, I want to address the first portion of his clip. So he basically the clip split up into three parts. He kind of talks about why he thinks they're overrated, gives an example, and then makes a final statement saying, yeah, they're overrated. So this first part, I want you guys to watch so we can kind of gain some context and let's talk about it. Now everybody wants to be a cool kid and have all these gadgets in their gun. Okay, you carry a gun, especially if you're in the private sector, you're not a soldier, you're not you know, in law enforcement, if you carry a gun with a light on it, when's the last time you needed that? Yeah. And most people, if they're honest, will tell you, well, not really. All right, guys. So basically in that clip, what he is saying, at least how I'm interpreting it, is that if you're not military or law enforcement, uh, lights have no business being on a civilian's gun. That's how I'm seeing it. And I do come from a military background and I do see the value in having a white light. I understand that they have their detriments and I understand that they are very useful in certain situations. Before we get into the reasons why that these are valuable and why I believe he's wrong, I do want to address where he said that a lot of cool guys or a lot of cool kids want to have all these gadgets on their gun. That's a mindset issue, and I'll kind of agree with him in that aspect of it, that if we're putting stuff on our guns to look cool for the Instagrams, uh, that's the wrong thing. That's a mindset issue. Anything that we put on our weapons, whether it's our carry pistols or our you know, self-defense rifles, self-defense shotguns, whatever, every tool that goes on that weapon, we need to have an understanding of why it's there, what's its job, and we need to understand how to use it. So when we look at my bedside gun, this little 10-3 SBR here, um, everything on it has a job. The sling has a job. The red dot so I can sight in. Uh, my pistol grip, reference point, suppressor so I don't blow my eardrums out. And yes, this light has a role, big time. So now that that's out of the way, let's kind of talk a little bit about why I think he's wrong. So what, when does a civilian need a light? Well, what happens if you have somebody that is in an area that does not have a lot of ambient light for whatever reason? Yeah, a lot of big cities have street lights and stuff like that, but you can't guarantee that. Um, so having, and I'm a big advocate of having a handheld and a weapon mounted light. If you're going to carry a weapon light, you need to have a handheld. And I'm a big believer you should have a handheld anyways, because you got to see what you're dealing with. Um, if you don't have a weapon light and have a handheld, you need to learn how to shoot and run the light and the gun at the same time. That's a training thing. Another valuable thing with lights, especially on home defense guns, which a lot of us civilians run home defense rifles because crime is rampant. Um, I can grab this rifle with a 30 round magazine in it and all I have to do is grab it and go. And I don't know about you guys, but I sleep with all the lights off in the house. So I can pick this rifle, sling up, and I am ready to start going into my house and I can sit there, keep it at a low ready, point it at the ground, and I can light up every single room until I can identify what is going on. And then on top of that, and this next point works with both concealed carry and home defense, but if you have a bright enough light and there is a threat in your house, so you go to raise it to a high ready, and you're probably seeing some B-roll footage of this, not only do you get PID of, yep, definitely that's a weapon, and you can make that conscious decision of to shoot or not to shoot if they're fleeing or if they're gonna charge you, attack you, shoot at you, whatever, 
It also can temporarily blind them, and that can give you an edge in an already crap situation where they caught you behind the eight ball. Now you got them behind the eight ball, and you can effectively engage. So lights for civilians definitely have their uses. So I do not agree with Ken Hackathorn on this one. So, all right, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. This one's pretty spicy. We're seeing it all over the internet, so I figured I'd give my two cents in. All right, guys, remember your right to self-defense is self-maintained. Carry a light on your gun. We'll see you guys in the next video.